Greetings YouTube neighbors. I a subscriber asked to demonstrate the shuttle shift on a tractor. And I thought that was a great question. Um, I had not driven a shuttle shift before this tractor. This was my first. Um, I had a hydrostatic before this one, a hydrostatic 66 horsepower, and this is a shuttle shift 70 horsepower tractor. So it is as simple as simple can be depending on your gear. The lower the gear, the more simple it is to operate. So right now I'm in medium one is a low gear I have a high and it goes all the way up to a high into a five and the higher the gear is the more jarring it can be but here's a quick demonstration I'm at low idle um, I'm not using the clutch I'm just leaving the tractor as it wants to operate so you can see my clutch pedal down there and I'm not touching it I flip it up and the tractor slowly starts to creep forward it basically auto engages the clutch for you so there I stop it, it just basically pops it in neutral and lets it ride. And you can see my indicator on the dash, that neutral, that's only looking at the shuttle shift. It's not looking at the gear selector. So for example, if I pull it out of medium here, I pull it out, it's just, and I do that, it, it says it's in gear, but it's actually in neutral in my range selector. So that's what that light is doing. So now I'm going to go backwards, just pop it in backwards. Didn't use the clutch at all. Um, that's how it works. So I'm going to go to low real quick. So I'm going to go to low five. It's a gear I really like for working in. The tractor's got plenty of power and just lets it go. Now obviously if you have the RPMs jacked, it's going to be more aggressive. So I'm going to just give that as an example. She's roaring. Works really easy. And then she gets into cruise speed and then we just go. And then for stopping, I just pop it out, cruise to a stop, go backwards, kind of lurches. That's the word I would you uh, use when you're at you know high RPM or a high gear. She really lurches. Now when you go to high range, for example, you can only really start out in one. She doesn't want to start at any higher gear and high range, so you got to actually walk it back up. So I'm at a little bit RPM and high in one. You can see it kind of does a really good job of just slowly grabbing the gear and getting you go forward. Now obviously before it stops, I could flip it backwards. Generally what I find is it has enough power to actually turn the tires, uh, lose traction and then start to spin back the other way. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. It's hard on the equipment. Usually with the brake, you get pretty good at just popping it out, smash the brake, put it back in gear the way you want to go. It's really simple. Um, the design was really new to me. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd still love a hydrostatic. They're pretty hard to beat as far as directional work. Um, but for a tractor system, this is solid. Uh, it's, it's a really good setup. I've never had an issue with it. It's very powerful. The one thing it will be is it will lurch, especially a tractor with this engine size and the gearing it has, it will give you a strong lurch if you're at a high RPM and too high of a gear and you put it forward or backward, you're going to get a jarring effect where it's going to pull you hard one way or the other um, just because it has a lot of juice. So I thought that was a great question. I think people should be more informed on shuttle shifts and how they work and kind of what the limitations are uh, of them. If you're doing a ton of loader work, it's challenging, especially with dirt work. I do a lot of log work with my tractor. It's not really a big deal. I do a lot of planning and tilling and that type of stuff. The shuttle shift for that stuff is great. It's better than a hydrostatic when you're planting and tilling um, just because it's cruise control. Pop it in, let her go, and you just steer. The tractor does the rest. So. It is a really fascinating system. If you want to know the technicals, you need to find a different video. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an engineer, so I can't tell you that. But uh, yeah, if you have any more great questions, let me know, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.